So what you saying? Money. Get out my business. Okay. All right. What's the next topic? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like, I can't even believe this. Lollapalooza 2021, <laughs> Chicago. <laughs> Yo, if 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 a city, if I don't, if I didn't give oh a fuck was a city, if I didn't give a fuck was a city, Chicago would be it. Oh my god! Like, I just. I'm, <laughs> Can you guys see that? It's just people. <laughs> Oh my god. Like what? So if you're from Chicago or you know about Grant Park, yeah. It's definitely a spacious place, right? But I never to the I mean you can't even see the street. Like you can't see nothing. <laughs> like Chicago, what? Lori, are you serious? <laughs> are we serious? Like, especially with the spike of this whole Delta variant. Like, I get it. Like, Lollapalooza was canceled last year. I get it. People were very upset about that. Um, was it warranted to happen this year for four days? I would have I would have appreciated maybe two days or four days of the same amount of people. Because y'all was passing out four-day passes mm -hmm. of 180,000 people. And you didn't start mandating people to wear masks or show their cards until day three? Man. Hey. They want it all to smoke. They gonna get it. <laughs> like, not and let's not let's and, and let's talk about the the two performances that legit oversold. Megan Thee Stallion and Miley Cyrus had the most people at their performances. Like literally, like this, like in there singing like this. That's how close they were to each other. Disgusting. Do you can I do you think that that's appropriate for us like right now? It, Chicago especially, first of all, and let's not we don't even want to talk about the crime that happened later on that those those events. But like, as a mayor, I would be worried to know that 180 thousand people in my city are in the same spot. Mm. I would be scared. Yeah. I would be worried. And then yeah. they try to say Lori was out there at the front of the gate checking people people cards. So I'm also upset too, because if I'm an attendee, if I'm attending, so when you had to buy the ticket for Lollapalooza, you had to show a, a negative COVID test on the registration. You had to prove that you had, that you had to upload your negative COVID test within, but that was within 72 hours, right? That's yeah. it. So now you're asking people to bring their actual vaccination cards. How many things does that violate? A lot. No. Because Grand Park, Grand no. Park is a park. Right, it's a park. but it but the park was commandeered by a private entity that owned that owned a statewide licensure to be there, so they can operate. The state has to operate under that private licensure agreement, so they wouldn't have gotten in trouble for it. All I know is Chicago is a city of hustlers. How many think, how many cars do you think were real, and how many do you think were fake? How do you verify them? There's no national way of verifying. It, so it's it's, right. that's my point. So people can be walking in with these cards. That might not even be real. That could be that could be photocopied, right? You could have a thousand Melissa's <laughs> in the damn concert because they photocopied it. Disgusting, disgusting. I'm disappointed in Chicago. I'm disappointed, and I'm also hearing that another another big festival that's coming up in Chicago that I attended in 2019 before COVID happened is is Brewfest, the High Park Brewfest. I remember Brewfest being the same way, packed. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Like packed, and it's they're they're saying that the show will go on for that, so get ready for another surge. But yeah, I was disappointed. Like I I was shocked at this picture. I mean, not to say like we didn't just see it at in Miami at Rolling Loud, right? Mm. But I don't think it was this much people. Like people from all over the world came to this. Yeah, wow. Lollapalooza is known for this. Wow, it's Lalo. Woo. I just don't know if it was worth putting this many people at risk, right? Like, I I get having a good time, but also I'm also of the mindset as a person who's vaccinated, and if I really wanted to go, I would have gone because I'm tired. I'm tired of this in the in the house type shit, bruh. 
Like if you ain't figured it out yet to go get your vaccine and you was in that crowd, you been had you been ready to go see your maker. You been you you built different. But you ain't built <laughs> you ain't built the way you think you is. So I I'm, I I don't know. I I'm would I have been there? No. If I was desperate enough to see that type of exposure, I don't really like live shows. I go to live shows in order and get a private press box just so I can know what it's like to watch it from a different angle. I don't like being in the crowd. That's just never been my style or my swag. So, But this is concerning, but I'm interested to see in two weeks what the numbers look like. So it's been a, a week right now. The second week is happening this week, so we'll get to see. We'll get to see if the fact that Illinois is above vaccination standards significantly is going to play a heavy role in this, or we're going to see if you know the pandemic is is going to be ongoing because we already know where one third of every case of COVID is happening right now. If you have COVID, there's a one in three chance you got it from someone who's either in Florida or Texas, or you're there right now. So we'll we'll talk more about it, but for the meantime and in between time, now if you work can they find us. Tonight at Lollapalooza. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I'm going to Chicago in like two weeks. Ooh. I don't know. But uh y'all can find us on TikTok, Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, IG, Facebook, Spotify. Uh, Apple iTunes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and all those babies. But it's so hard to find through the daily grind. Been working overtime. And I'm sleep deprived. Shorty on my line.